yeah hi all uh, welcome welcome to the react boot camp okay so today is the day first of uh, react boot camp so the prerequisites that for this course is you need to have a little idea on html and css at least html and css you need to have an idea ja, this is like uh, we'll be discussing what is react and all we are going to discuss that and few things few things related to javascript also will be fine okay so you don't have to be pro on this uh, javascript you need to have a little idea what javascript does and all okay so coming to this like i said this is the first day of this uh, boot react okay so this will be for around i'm not sure like how many classes it will going to is going to take like around uh, 15 to 20 classes might be taken like uh, or less than that as usual i'll like uh, we are i'm going to take take the session first at the end of the session i'll be taking your doubts if you have any so in this class of the day one i'm going to keep it very basic okay so what is react how do you install how do you set up uh, what is the environment that require how to create the react environment we are going to see these things itself and i'm going to explain you what are the folders that will be there for this particular react and all we are going to see that okay um let me just share my screen Okay. Yeah, my screen is visible, right? Okay, fine. So before starting, like uh, before starting, we'll understand what is React first. What is the purpose of React and all? We'll understand that, and then we'll directly go with this, uh, with the how to, what is the setup that we require and all. We'll see that. Okay, React. yeah so react what do you mean by react okay what do you mean by react so if you have any if like it is like a javascript library it is one of the javascript library react is a react is a js library okay Okay, so it is like a uh, library, B R A R Y library. Okay, for building user interfaces, for building user interfaces. Okay, so like UI, UI, you can say that as UI. So what are the UIs and all? Like uh, we'll be able to learn that. Like we'll be from the coming classes, we're going to see that. And React is majorly used to build the single page applications, SAPs. Okay, React is. Use it to build. It is used to build single page application SPAs. You can call it as SPAs or single page applications. Okay, single page applications. And React allows us to create usable UI components. Like components is the major topic when it comes to React. Okay, so we are going to see like uh, in this last itself. I'm going to show you. What is a component all? Uh, what is a component and all? I'm going to show you that. So React allows us to create reusable reusable UI components. Okay, reusable UI components. Okay. So coming to this one, like how do you create? What is the environment that you like? What is the purpose of this React in, in the sensor? See, uh, for example. Normally, what do we do? Like uh, whenever we create any application, okay. Whenever we create any application, so let us say that I have a browser, okay. I have a browser is there. Browser is there, and I also have a server is there. Like a server, whatever I have created, the server will be there. So where I have the particular database and all the server side, like I have given this one, and the browser is already there. Browser, okay. It is like an application. Now, whenever I make any request, okay, I want to get the data from the user or like. Uh, 
I'm sending the data. I'm uh, clicking on a button. Okay, that is present on the browser. I'm clicking on the button. What happens is that is going to go back to this particular, uh, that request is going to send to the server. Okay, that request will be sent to the server. And this one will be coming back to this, coming back to the browser. The response will be coming back to the browser. Okay, but when it comes to this React pages, see, like it is uh, the name itself says it is a single page application. We are going to give, we are going to give only one single HTML page. Inside that itself, we are going to write, uh, like we are going to create multiple things. Okay, we are going to insert, like we are going to write only one uh, HTML page. Okay, we are going to write only one index.html. Inside that itself, we are going to do everything, all the components that we are going to see, all the everything that we are going to build uh, will be done in only one page itself. Okay, will be done in only one page itself. So that is called single page application. That is called single page application. Okay, so when we are making a particular request to the server, that is going to go back to the server and it is going to send back. It is going to send back to this. Okay, the answer response will be sending back to the particular browser. Okay, it is this is how it will be working as well. Okay, but it is not going to, you will not be having multiple, multiple pages will not be there. Okay, only one page will be there. On that itself, we are going to see. Oh, we are going to give, create all the components and uh, whatever that uh, that is going to do, whatever the changes that we are modifying or uh, clicking on any button, the pro the logic will be working then and there itself and it will be rendering the data and it will be printing out there itself. Okay, it is not going to push to another page. Okay, it is not going to push to another page. We'll see. We'll understand once we have started with this uh, components or doll. Okay, for example. Let me just say that I have a particular application is there. Okay. Or a particular website is there. So what are the things that will be there in a website? We'll be having a now bar. Okay. Then we'll be having a contents bar or something contents. After that, we'll be having a footer. So these are the things we'll be having. So these are nothing but components in uh, react. We'll be calling them as components. This entire now bar is called as a component. This entire contents is called as a component. Okay. This entire uh, uh, footer will be having a component. Okay, what does the component contents means? It will be having a template and its logic. Okay, the components we are going to create, we are going to create multiple components. Every component we, is, we are going to create for a particular now, but I'm going to create a particular component. I'm going to do, I'm going to give that. Okay, for a particular contents, I'm going to create a component and I'm going to give uh, insert into that particular HTML page. So whatever the component components that are having that we are going to create, it is having the template. What is the template? How it should be there and all. It should be there. It will be there. And also logic. What is the logic that needs to work out? We are going to see that. So to create an, uh, create an application, like to create a react environment. Okay. To create a re react environment, we need to have multiple things. The first one is go to the visual studio. I hope everybody is using visual studio. Okay. Open visual studio code, open visual studio code. Go to this uh, extensions, go to the extensions and install the simple React app, uh, snippets. So first you need to do is you need to install the simple React, app, uh, React snippets. So this one needs to be installed. Okay, simple React, uh, this one needs to be installed. Once this is installed, go to the settings, go to the open the settings. Okay. Open the settings type for Emmet. The second one is type for the Emmet and include languages. Okay. Include the languages, which is, will be, which will be JavaScript and JavaScript uh, react. Okay. So just say that add item. So type here JavaScript. And then the next one, you just type the type the JavaScript react and just click on. Okay. Okay. Just click on. Okay. It should be visible like this. Okay. These two need, uh, these two things, uh, two things should be done in your visual studio code. I hope it is clear. Okay, first thing, what you will do to uh, to set up the environment, to set up the environment. Okay, to set up the environment, you need to have, first thing is you need to install the extensions, which is React, Simple React snippets. 
then go to settings go to settings type for search for emmet inside that include go to the include languages and add javascript and javascript react okay there are no capital letters are all uh, nothing are there so you just need to add simply javascript and javascript react that needs to be added and you just click on okay click on okay that is going to be added okay so once this is done okay you need to install the one of the package like you need to install the software called node.js okay so you need to install the software called node.js what is the purpose of this node.js means it gives us the environment okay to run to execute okay it is going to give us the node.js is a like uh it is going to build us an environment for our uh, javascript build like it is going to give us create the server server side web applications okay this is going to help us to create the server applications so like a uh, server side web applications will be able to we'll be able to create that by using this node.js so you need to install the node.js go to google chrome search for node.js go to the downloads okay so according to yours like go to the current version and go install if you're using windows go with uh, this one if you're using mac go with this one or source code what are the other other kind of things you are using linux or something you just install just click on it automatically it will be downloaded okay so let me show you that so i'm just okay i have downloaded this one let me cancel this so i'm going to download the mac installer mac os installer so I'm, it is downloading once it is done click on double click on it and open when finished okay it is going to ask for all the continuous and all like it is going to ask for the terms and agreements okay just install everything until the summary okay so until the summary you just install it and then if you have installed successfully or not, whether you have installed successfully or not to check it, go to the terminal. Go to the terminal. Search for uh, like type the node iPhone version. Okay. So type for this search for this uh, node iPhone version and just click on enter. That is going to give you the latest version number, like uh, version 20.2.0. Okay, up to here, this is, will be common for everything. Okay, up to here, it will be common. Okay, up to here, it will be common. Now, you need to create. So to understand this, to understand the particular React and all, like particular React course, uh, we are going to develop a public, uh, particular uh, single page application. We are going to develop a application, new React application. So in this module, in this complete course, we are going to do that itself. So what, how do you change it? Everything like we'll see that. Okay. Before going to that. Okay. I'm going to teach you some commands in this, uh, this terminal. Okay. This terminal search for PWD click on for, it is not going to be the same for all the people. Okay. Whoever that are there in this particular class, the same output will not, we'll not get, we'll not be getting the same output for everyone. Okay, we will not be getting the same output for everyone. So if I search for present working directory, which is PWD and give enter. So here I have this particular users here. Okay, this is the place that we are right now. Currently we are right now. Okay, this terminal is uh, like, uh, it is currently at the location. Like my computer will be there, right? My computer. Inside that you will be having multiple drives and all. Okay, if you go to the my computer, you'll be having multiple drives. Inside that particular C drive, you'll be having users users folder inside if you go that you will be having your particular name with that okay again inside that you will be having multiple pro program files and everything will be there likewise in the same way if you just click on this pleasant working directory you will be having your own users and then you will be having your own name okay your own name will be there now i want to go to the desktop okay this is the like right now right now i am into this location which is in my computer i'm there in my my computer which is my folder which is there like here if i show it to you
yeah here it is there so okay let it be so this is how like if you just type the present working directory you will be able to see some some uh, kind of a folder that you'll be having now you just go to the list okay go to the ls list if you just type it ls you'll be having all the folders that are there on it all the folders what are, that are there on it so it is having desktop it is having movies folder music folder you can see this everything that is there inside here okay so everything that is there inside here are, are, that is going to show you here okay where is the movies where are the movies okay documents programs pr okay everything related to this particular folder under this particular folder you will be able to see all these things now i want to go to the desktop go to the desktop first go to the desktop how do you go to the desktop so change directory change directory just say that desktop here no misspelling mistakes if you make any spelling mistake again you have to write the particular uh, command once again okay if you want to do it with me you can do it okay um, if you want to do it with me you can do it so just go to this check whether uh, after installing whether check whether it is or else write it on a paper you can try it afterwards search for uh, present working directory inside that you will be having uh, after that you will be having the where you are presently working well, like where you are presently is uh, located after that go with the ls type for ls it is going to list out the folders that are there inside this uh, the particular name under the username what are the folders that are there that is going to have it here every project will be there here after that i want to change my present working directory like i want to go inside this folder i want to go inside this folder so what are the day uh, uh, to go to go inside this folder what you need to do you need to change that change directory desktop and give enter now it has been changed now it has been changed now i'm going to give ls once again okay once i gave ls here once i gave ls here on my desktop whatever the folders that are there everything has been listed okay on my desktop whatever the folders that are there everything has been listed everything has been listed okay so now i want to go i want to i want to open a particular react folder okay so there is a react folder that is there i want to open that i want to go inside that so just say that cd react okay so now you have came to the react folder now you have come to the react folder so it is come came to the end right i am just going to give it as a clear that is going to clear everything it is going to present up itself but it is going to like you will be getting the cursor at the towards the top now my current present working directory is now my present working directory is after the users you are into uh, till now you are there in this dinesh bhupati after that you went enter into this desktop after that you entered into this react folder okay now you have entered into the react folder right now you are in the present working directory of react folder now i am just going to search what are the uh, items that are there so it is having one application one folder called new react okay inside this uh, inside this react folder i am going to create an application for react this is what you are going to do whenever you want to set up the environment for like for example take it you want to create a new project you want to develop an application okay the first thing you will be doing is you create a folder on your desktop or else like you can create it directly or using the commands also you can do it in terminal also okay so create a folder on the desktop come to the open that folder in your uh, in your terminal and just run this code okay npx npx space okay i'm going to create an application now create create react application create react application space what is the name that you want to give it what is the name of the application that you want to give it okay it can be anything like it can be whatever you want to give it you can uh, give it a particular name for it so mobile application let us say that uh, single application single application it is going to take some time you need to wait you need to be patient it is going to uh, take some time if you haven't given anything like perfectly or you didn't install the node js or something it is not going to work okay let it be let, let it take some time i'm going to repeat it once again okay i'm going to repeat it once again once you have installed once you have installed the environment visual studio code install the inside the visual studio code you have installed the extensions simple react snippets and you have changed the settings 
come to the no uh, install the node.js through the browser, uh, browser download from the browser and install that once the installation is done open terminal open terminal go to go to the desktop folder desktop folder that was created for applications that was created that was created by using the below commands by using below commands so the commands will be present working directory to know the uh, present working directory to change the directory you need to go there okay to change the directory you need to give the cd and folder name okay cd and folder name so it is going to take some time okay it is going to take some time so once you have opened the folder you need to give one particular uh, particular command called npx space okay npx space this is what you will be doing create react application space what is the react application name you want to give it so new application new application something okay, you can give it anything okay new application it is going to take some time okay it is going to take some time it is going to install all the things see now it is done okay happy hacking once you got this message as happy hacking that means you are done with the you have created the application okay now you have created the application now you need to open that particular application i hope i hope everybody is getting the clarity on this like uh, everybody is following right uh, everybody is following right so i haven't done anything till now we are just making the setup itself people till now we are just making the setup itself all the extensions and uh, settings we have changed then we have installed the node.js uh, node.js uh, node.js application in our software in our particular uh, uh, laptop and then we have opened the terminal we have opened the folder first we have opened the folder desktop folder we have opened and then we have run this particular code that's it by giving a name for it okay this is the name that you can give you can give any name here okay new application any name you can give it and you can just run this particular code run this particular code it will take some time it is going it will be going to take some time once you get the message called happy hacking go to your visual studio code go to your visual studio code and open that particular application so let me close all this okay now i'm going to open that particular folder okay on the desktop it is there under the react under the react so what did we created single app right so i'm just going to open this particular uh, single app open that okay so these are the folders that you will be having okay these are the folders that you will be having in the particular application we have just created the application that's it okay we have just created the application and uh, these are the default folders that will be there so first first you will be having this is the name the single application name that is the app name that you have given for the react application inside this if you go through uh, go to this you are having one node modules folder one public folder and one src folder and four grid related and packages we are having okay so one readme one packages one uh, package json and package log json okay you are having multiple things here okay you are having multiple things coming to the node modules okay load modules are like uh, it will be helping us to run the code okay to run our particular uh, okay we are having we are developing an application right so to run our particular code this load modules will be helping us to do that okay so without the node modules you can't run the application you can't run the particular application okay so after that we have this particular uh, part, uh, this load modules are there these are the number of like multiple will be there okay these all are node modules itself without this we can't run the particular application okay this all this we can't run the particular application node modules so after that we have the public uh, public folder okay after that we have the public folder inside this public folder we are having multiple things okay so one is icon this is one of the icon that's it uh, there is nothing much about it this there is an icon that's it and we have index.html okay the index.html so there are some logos there are some logos these are the logos and then we have the react application uh, json we have it like multiple data is that multiple data related to the react application that we are having and then we have the particular text which is uh, text okay so we have robots once this is like these are the basic things we will not be coming to the folder most of the times then we have the source folder 
Okay, so this is where we are going to do everything. Okay, in this itself, we are going to do everything. And in specifically inside this, we are going to do the, write the codes inside, inside this particular here, here itself. Okay, using this index.js, this is what it is going to like. Uh, yeah, so this is what it is opening the app. Okay, this is what it is opening the app. If you see this, it has imported some multiple uh, React applications and all. Okay, React applications and all it has imported. Then we have this, it is rendering the data that is uh, strict mode and all. Okay, so it is rendering the data by getting the data from other application. Okay, so uh, coming to this first one, we have the app.css, the CSS part we have it. Okay, we do have the CSS part. And CSS app.js, we have this particular app.js. How do we write it, everything? Okay, this is called as a component. This is one of the component that we is there. After that, we have the stats2.js. This is not, we are go not going to work on it. Okay, so we can just delete this one. We don't uh, we don't want it. We can just delete it. Then we have index.css. Okay, index.css is there. And then we have index.js is there. We already seen this one. Then we have the logo SVG. Okay, logo SVG, like what is the logo that we are going to use it in a particular uh, application that logo is there. And report web vitals, web vitals, like this is also, we'll not be using it. So it will be having multiple uh, things and all. So let me just remove this one also. Move to trash. This setup tests also, we don't require it. Let me move to trash, delete it. Okay, coming to this index, uh, index.js, we have deleted that uh, web vitals, like let me delete this web vitals. Okay, save it out. Okay, so let me delete all this web vitals. Okay. So there is some uh, Git version that is uh, like I have installed the Git also, that is why. It is uh, showing this modified option and all. So don't worry about it. We'll discuss that later when we discuss about Git related uh, concepts that we are going to discuss there. Okay, right now I have modified the index.js. Okay, index.js, I have modified that. Not able to delete this. Uh, okay, we are not going to use this one, so it will be fine. So we are not going to use this uh, app.test, setup.test.js, uh, and report web vitals and all. We are not going to use it. So don't need to worry about it, even though if it is not deleted. Okay, coming to this one, how do you run this particular application? Okay, and then in the source folder, we have multiple things. And then we have the Git related things like a pack, a Git ignore. Okay, Git ignore and Git uh, package dot, package log JSON. Okay, it is deleting one by one, yeah. Okay, package dot JSON and all, we do have all this data. Now, how do you run this particular application? Like how do you, How do you run this particular application? In this uh, Git ignore and all, I have multiple things which is coming uh, related to the Git. Uh, Git ignore, we are having multiple things and package log JSON. Okay, multiple components are there, like multiple uh, tags are also there. So package dot JSON, package log dot JSON. Okay, package log dot JSON, React subscripts, uh, start, build, test, uh, reject. Uh, okay, so we do have multiple things inside this one. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to run this particular application. Let us say that I want to apply, uh, uh, run this particular application. So what I need to do, you need to, you need to open the terminal, open the terminal, go with the terminal, open the terminal. Okay. So verify, uh, check whether you are there in the single page application or not. If you are there in the single page application, then you only, you'll be able to run this particular, uh, particular application. So I'm just going to say that NPM space run start. Okay, you need to give this particular command. So just give enter, it is going to take some time and it is going to load that, load the application in your browser. It is taking some time, like let it, uh, let, let us wait.
Okay, you can see this, right? This is what the React application looks like. Okay, this is what the React application looks like. So how did we get this one? So this is the default thing that is going to create whenever you are going to, uh, whenever you are going to write up, uh, develop a particular application, React application. Okay, the first thing you will be doing is you need to run that particular command in the terminal. First, you need to run this particular command in the terminal, and you need to create the project. So npx space create React application single application. Okay, that would uh, name that you want to give it that needs to be given here. And it is going to create the folder with uh, all the necessary node modules, public folders, source folders. Okay, all this are will be created along with the JSON, Git, uh, Git ignore, and all. Okay, so it might be confusing. It might be confusing. What is this? Everything will be doing like uh, what is the purpose of each and everything? So don't worry. Okay, in the coming classes, we are going to discuss everything one by one, slowly one by one. We are going to discuss so that you can understand it easily. Like you will be able to get an idea on it. Okay, and uh, whenever you are going to download any any kind of a react applications from git source or somewhere okay git if you are having some if you find some uh, uh, git source like a git application uh, there is a react application is there that was uploaded in the git and you are downloading it you will not be able to find the you will not be finding the node modules okay the thing is you will not be able to find the load modules Okay, it, you are not be finding the load modules. So if I just delete, delete this load modules, okay, this is not going to run now. I just deleted the load modules. It is going to say take some time. Yeah. Now if I try to run this particular application, let's go to the terminal and open the new terminal, and I'll run this uh, run this particular application. It is going to throw us an error. See, React scripts not command not found. React scripts command not found. Okay, so everywhere, whenever you are going to see, whenever you are going to uh, run a particular React application, you need to have the load modules. But uh, when you are downloading or sharing the data, when you are downloading or sharing the React applications for other people, okay, or you are downloading it from someone, and so you will not be going, you will not be finding the node modules. Okay, like this one, it will be there. It will be there. It will be having public uh, public data source folder. This Git uh, everything will be there, but you will not be finding the load module node modules why because this load module will be occupying much space okay it is load uh, the load modules will be node modules will be occupying a lot of space so that is why everybody will be whenever they are, they are sharing this particular uh, react application they are not going to share with the not, they are not going to share the particular uh, a particular folder that is not going to be shared okay the node modules will not be shared so what you need to do if it is not shared what we need to do so you need to install the node modules for that particular application. Okay, what, how to do it? NPM space, install node modules. Okay, so it is going to create all the node modules for your particular application. So it is taking, it is taking, see, it has created, it is creating that application node modules folder. 50% is done. Yeah, it is, this is going to take some time. Okay, yeah. Doing, doing, going, going on. Okay, so whenever you are downloading any kind of a React application from uh, Git sources, Git uh, repositories, or someone is shared uh, shared you some kind of a Git uh, like uh, uh, React application, first thing you need to do is you need to install the road, uh, node modules for that particular application, and then you need to run it. Okay, without node modules, it is not going to the application will not be running. Okay, the application will not be running. You need to have the node modules. What is the purpose? What are the things that will be there? And all we'll see it in the coming classes. Like we'll see. So it will be, yeah, we'll see. We'll discuss that async, everything, multiple of that. Okay, let it complete. 
So we'll discuss come to this uh, source folder. So here we have this index.js, right? So in this itself, mostly we'll be writing the code. Like in this itself, we'll be adding the components and everything. Okay. So in this itself, we'll be adding the components here the, the, uh, in this folder. Like uh, this is where we are going to work on it. Okay. Index.js itself where we are going to work on it. So if you observe this car particularly, if you observe this car particular code, what it is doing is it is rendering the code that it is rendering the particular application that is there in strict mode. It is going, it is rendering the a particular application. It is taking an application. Okay. And it is rendering that. So where this is application is coming from, you can observe this here. So index app dot app dot a uh, app dot app uh, dot slash app is there. So where is it? Where it could be found? Uh, it could be found. You can see this app dot js. Okay, this is what it is looking at. Uh, like this is where the index dot for index dot js is getting the data. Okay, so it is like a same function itself. Okay, it is like a same function itself. You can observe here. It is like a function here. Okay, so. This is not similar to your, not similar to your JavaScript code or HTML code. Okay. This is JXX code, JSX code. Okay. This is of JSX code, JSX code. Okay. This is, uh, we'll be learning. We'll be learning. So whatever you are going to write it down here, whatever they are, you are going to write it down here. So it is importing the logo. That logo is only displayed here. That is logo itself. It is displayed here. And if you can observe here, so learn react is there, right? That learn react is visible is visible here okay the learn react is visible in this place right in this place it is visible come back okay so is, this is where we're like whatever you are going to write it the header part everything whatever you are going to write it in this one that is going to reflect that it was added as it was created as a component this is completely as a component Okay, this is completely a component. Okay, so using this one, this component, uh, whatever the component that you have created, that is going to be taken to this particular index.js. That is going to be read by this index.js and it will be pasted here. It will be pasted in this app, app tag and, and it is going to be rendered and that is going to be loaded on your particular web, web page. That is going to load it on your web, particular web page. Let us make some changes and let us see that. So I'm going to make this changes. I'm going to remove this one. Header. Let us say that H1 dot. Okay. H1 dot document. Okay. So in normally, whenever we give this particular class and all we are giving in HTML, what used to be there, it is going to have only the class itself. But here we are having the class name. Okay, so that by that itself, you can, it is like similar to uh, HTML, but it is not HTML. This is JavaScript, H, uh, JavaScript, like JSX code. This is called JSX code. Now I'm just going to say that as hello react. So just even though if you don't save it, that is going to refresh this code. Let us refresh. Okay, we have to run it once again, right? So we have to run it once again. So let me just run it once again. NPM run start. So we need changes. We have uninstalled the node modules and installed, right? So that is why it is not updated. So automatically, whenever you are making changes in the particular code uh, components, that is going to be updated directly. Okay. There will be no delay in that. That is going to be uploaded directly. So it has loaded this one. Let me see that. It is taking some time. Just hold. Yeah. React app. React app name. See, you can see this, right? So whatever I have written here, whatever I have written here inside this, inside this component, I have written this. Okay. You don't need this logo. We are not loading the logo, right? We don't need the logo. Okay. So whenever we are writing this particular application, you will be having this import dot app CSS. Okay. That is importing this kind of a CSS part coming to this J script, uh, JavaScript here. We are importing the application we are importing the application from this particular this application has been app.js has been uh, imported here to this one okay imported to this one and that is what we are using it here come back to the app.js come back to the app.js this one in this we are uh, importing the app.css we are importing and then what we are doing 
we are writing the function and we are exporting the default app so that you, if you export that then only you'll be getting this particular data through this to this one okay okay understand it up to here itself okay what you will be doing in the coming by the next class what you will do the same thing whatever we did it today try to do the try to replicate it try to replicate it we did nothing it's just the basic things we have installed some softwares okay we have installed some softwares okay and then we have opened our terminal and we have opened the folder that we wanted and inside that we have run this code that's it and we create react app new application up to there it will be fine open the application in your uh, visual studio code and just load it over the run it run it by using the npm okay npm run start you need to give this command okay npm run start needs to be given i hope it is clear up to here so in the next coming class we are going to see about the components how to create what is the component how it has been working and what are the templates inside the component we are going to see that okay i hope it is clear like uh, mm, there will be multiple things modules modules react dom react dom react script web vitals okay so start scripts run scripts build a test asset so we'll see one by one everything in the coming classes i hope it is clear till now okay now i'm going to take your doubts if you have any let me just stop sharing my screen